All right, guys, this is a uh, long plane review for battleships on the uh, Amstrad CPC. And a quick and cheap uh, review for me today. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be recording this commentary live. And yeah, this is a basically a home computer version of the uh, famous board game where uh, it's for two players. You position your ships, and uh, the, your opponent has to guess. If I'm making a grid reference as to where your ships are and try and sink them. I'm sure you've seen this before. And this is quite a good home computer version of it. Quite good for a quick blast. That was the demo there. I think we'll let this run a little bit longer. I think it tells you the types of ships you can have. Right, the little torpedo boat. Right bastard to find. Destroyers. Submarine. Looks like a Tetris block. Ah, the battleship. I think there's one more, one, one of it. Yeah, the carrier. And the credits. Programmer Paul Hunter. Graphics Paul Walker. Design Keith Burkill. Don't know what other games they've done. I recognise the name uh, Keith Burkill though. Anyway, let's uh, quickly define our keys. Pause. We'll use P. Oh. Then. Left, right, the arrow keys as usual. And fire, left control. And uh, yeah, you can have two players in this or play against the computer. Obviously, I'm going to be playing against the computer here. And first of all, we're going to set up our map and uh, position our ships. Obviously, the computer won't know where our ships are. It's purely guesswork, and likewise, we'll just uh, space these out quickly a little bit. But what I'll do is I'll just turn these by uh, using the turn button at the top there. Just let your ship and turn like so. Oh, no room to turn that one. I always turn them anyway. I don't want the computer assuming I've been lazy and not bothered to turn them. Oh, that's right at the bottom there. Oh, I can't. Oh, sorry, you can stay there. Okay, right, well, let's position these. Let's have him. Have him in an awkward position there. spread out a bit. Uh, where's that submarine? We'll, uh, yeah, we'll move him across there. Yeah, that will do. Let's, uh, let's end that and get the game started. And you're first off to have a go. So, uh, got 24 shots. The number of shots you have are dictated by the number of ships you've got left. So the less ships you have, the less shots you'll have, the light waste of the computer. And let's hope I've hit something. On this nice sort of uh, screen. Yes! That's the little tiny little ship that's only two blocks in size. That's really, really good. We found that earlier on. Because you can spend a lot of time hunting for that on the map. Oh, I think he may have hit one of ours already, actually. There's one of them battleships in the top right corner. Nervous wait to find out now. Damn it, I thought he might have. Oh, there's one there in the top left. Damn it. Okay. Get rid of the... As soon as you got hit on one of the ships, get rid of them as soon as possible. And if you want to change where you place your shot, just fire through, uh, remove it. 
I'm just going to cover as much on the outside as possible as well there. Yes! Hmm. Oh well, still plenty of time left though. Computer does the same thing, makes a big square around any hits. Will we survive? Just. Yeah, one more hit and that ship's gone. Come on then, let's have you. Yes! Come on, one more ship. Okay. Okay, we could be on even pegging soon enough then. Okay. Oh, yes! Oh, beautiful. Well, well on course now then. Actually, I'm getting quite into this. This is actually quite good fun for a quick blast. And this is the first time I've played this uh, game in uh, many, many years. Oh, you found my little ship, haven't you? You git. Okay. So hoping I'd hold out a bit longer on that one, never mind. But let's swipe out these gits. Now is that four in length or five in length? I think it's four. And these are, I think they're three in size, aren't they? See how we do that, and then spread a few more out around. I really hope you wipe all three out, because they let you have so few shots left. You'll have about eight shots left, I think, per round, with only two ships remaining. Yeah, but he's going to knock out two of my ships there for sure. I like how the planes like zoom and flying over top. That's nicely done. Quite a nicely implemented sort of uh, arcade section there or a demonstration. Uh, so, yeah, it must be. So we've got one ship remaining. I think it must be this one. Maybe he is about five in length. Hmm. Anyway. But, and then we're just looking for one more. I reckon he'll be lurking around this top right here somewhere. One more shot. Yes! <laughs> okay, we're doing well here, but the computer could just suddenly all pull it back. 
He'll only have about eight shots. Yeah, because he's only got two ships left. <laughs> right. Oh, that's his biggest ship, isn't it? Do you know what? Let's let's make sure we get rid of him. And then he'll only have like four shots left to take me out with. Okay, then we just gotta find his sub. It's that little Tetris shape. So again, it's quite a hard one to find, it's quite small. <laughs> but yeah, quite enjoying this. Um I think I originally got this on a compilation from Elite. I think it was called the Hit Pack compilation. Um, and I think there was a Hit Pack 1 and 2. I can't remember exactly which games were in it, but I know in the Hit Pack compilations there was a. It may have been with Commando, 1942, Bomb Jack, Ghosts and Goblins. It was a great little compilation. And so, and, and this uh, this added quite a bit of value to it. Um, I'd only recommend this as buying this as part of a, that compilation, or maybe on budget. I wouldn't want to pay full price for this. But it's very nicely done. As a bit of a review, I think uh, I think I'll give this a uh, seven out of ten. Where can you be, little submarine? Three shots left. Oop. One more shot. Come on. Let's have you. Ooh. Mmm. Computer's really struggling this time. Sometimes I think like the computer cheats on this, but uh, obviously not. I've got three ships left. He's only got one. Where can you be? You can't be there. I don't think you place another ship so close to each other. Hmm. Oh, well, I'll try that. Come on, come on. Ooh. Well, yeah, it's the same. As a review, give this 7 out of 10, if bought as part of a budget pack, uh, or compilation pack I mean, sorry. But yeah, not bad at all. Very nicely implemented, and presented as well, some cool sound effects. Yes! Get in! Brilliant. Ah, oh, he's right at the bottom there. Yeah, so good for a quick, uh, quick blast. And it's just one of the few computer games that I'd ever get to play with like an elderly family or parents. I think my dad might have had a few games of this with me over time. He probably prefers to be playing the actual real ball game. But this is nicely done, and I'm about to win. Ha <laughs> ha! Yay! Computer, 
your fleece is sunk, you lose. Ha <laughs> ha, in your face. The winner's fleet. Another player one wins. Yeah, nice sound effects. And yeah, very nicely done. Uh, 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And see you next time. Cheers. Bye.